Approximately 95% of all the items we uh, show here in our museum have been collected by one person only, as I say, Professor Peter Tam. And uh, we are very pleased to have you here today and uh, to show you some of our highlights. So this is a special tour that uh, I like to show you some treasures of our museum. So we have nine floors, we call them decks, and each deck is filled with a lot of uh, uh, different items. And each deck is focusing on a special theme. So in order to find your way, for instance, I like to start uh, on our deck number one, uh, where we uh, show a lot of uh, items and give some information concerning uh, communication at sea, navigation, Deck number two, we have sailing, sailing ships, sailing boats. Mm -hmm. So, are you a sailor? Mm -hmm. Ah, then we have to go there. That would be my pleasure. That's for sure. Yeah. And deck number three, we have shipbuilding, for instance. Before you uh, try to count, I can disclose to you uh, this ship is consisting of approximately 780,000 Lego bricks. Wow. 780,000. That's Queen Mary, the cruise ship. Queen Mary 2, yes, exactly, from, uh, owned by the Cunard line. I've Show been in that uh, ship. Really? Yes, once. As a passenger? Or? Uh, no, as a journalist. Ah, really? That's for a tour. Ah, yes. very, very interesting. Yes, it was great. This is the largest uh, sailing ship ever. Uh, it has been built in 1902 owned by a German Hamburg-based shipping line, Ferdinand Leis. The name is Preussen, so it's German Prussia, it's in English. Uh, the sails were covering an area of 3,500 square meters. I think this is quite a lot. Uh -huh. This is a cargo ship, so this ship was used in the regular liner service to bring certain cargo from the North continent to South America. For me, I think it's unbelievable. Yeah, this ship could be sailed by approximately 35 to 40 crew members. I will ask uh, exactly ah, yeah. this thing now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly this thing. How, right. how, how many people were? So like maximum a... approximately 40, 40 people mm -hmm. by handling this ship. Mm -hmm. This was, of course, very, very hard work ah. because there was no engine. No engine. Just a, a pure sailing ship. Mm -hmm. And um, how many days it could uh, travel uh, the, the most? Depending on, depending on the wind. If they had very good wind, they could uh, make this trip in approximately three weeks from here down to South America. But uh, bad weather it could take them two months. So you, you never know because they were, uh, they were depending on the wind. On the weather. Uh, on the weather.